We're rolling. Oh, welcome to this video where we review Ayali Vanilla Candy Rock Sugar. And she took a while to arrive, but I'm making this video better late than never. And I want to start off by saying I was actually kind of like, if you guys saw my previous video, I was kind of like a negative Nancy. I wasn't expecting too much, but this one actually smells really, really good. So I did test this out. I went ahead and I tested this out at Sephora before receiving it if you guys watched my previous video and I didn't pick up any powder notes but with this bottle I am picking up lots of like sweet powdery notes, floral notes. I definitely pick up like bubblegum notes and just very sweet, very sugary. At Sephora I didn't pick up those powder notes. It reminded me a lot of Clean Reserve Sparkling Sugar. But this bottle is reminding me now Poison Girl by Dior. Like you pick up those sweet like powdery notes. So they're definitely first cousins. So you have your cousins and then you have your first cousins. I recommend this. I really enjoyed it. The staying power is probably like three hours. So it does last. Like it's, it's not like intense, powerful, but had it with me. It was kind of like spring myself throughout the night honestly i this was even on my bed like as i was going to sleep i still held on to this like i was literally i tucked myself in bed and i still had this bottle with me that's how i am just just like in general with fragrances like i become obsessed and when i receive a new fragrance i'm just like super excited and i like to like dissect all the notes and how it transforms as you're wearing it throughout the day so I honestly was glued to this last night. So I do quickly want to share a little market research analysis. I want to share that with you guys because I am a shopper. I'm like a super shopper and I definitely want to get like the biggest bang for my buck. So I kind of do dive into the competitors and I kind of just like to widen the lens when I'm shopping and see what what's out there if if there's something better if there's something that costs less so i put kayali in the range of like the other houses like skyler or seven virtues but kayali for example for a 1.7 ounce bottle is a hundred dollars versus a brand like skyler which i enjoy fall cashmere from skyler they have a lot of great fragrances Skyler for a 1.7 ounce is $90, so it is a little cheaper. And one of my favorite houses that I've been that I've been enjoying lately is the Seven Virtues. I do have Santal Vanille, and their price point is actually even lower. Their 1.7 ounce bottle is $88. So for me, that's kind of like wow, like I'm really surprised that they have a lower price point because Seven Virtues does have like bangers. So I do think Kayali is a little overpriced comparing it to other houses, but that's just kind of like what I like to do. Like, I don't like laser focus on a certain company, I just kind of like to see what else is out there and experiment and compare the price point. So that's something that I did want to share with you guys. I don't really consider it the little sister of vanilla because you get those powder notes that flourish after a couple of minutes on the dry down and you get more of those florals so I actually really do enjoy it on the dry down and a lot of girls are mentioning that it reminds them a lot of silk santal like if you added some powder in it with florals and a little extra sugar you definitely get reminded of silk santal but they are they are different, they are different but similar. And I do pick up like sandalwood or patchouli that isn't listed on the back, but I do get those notes as well. Um, and I think that's kind of like uh, Kayali's signature thing. I honestly enjoy it, but I was definitely surprised with this one. I think it's a hit, but let me know your thoughts on this. And honestly, I'm on my way out to Sephora. I'm going to go testing again. So let me know if you guys have any questions. Let me know if you guys are also reminded of Poison Girl. And now it's time for me to go to Sephora. So if you want to click up here and catch me in the next video, you're more than welcome to. And thank you guys so much for watching. And I will see you up there. All right, now... I gotta put on real pants.
Where are my real paths? 